Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a box joint jig for this mini router table. Now I made this mini router table a couple of weeks ago. You probably saw the video. If you haven't seen the video yet on the build for this router table, go check it out. It's in the link in the description below. It's a great addition to my workshop. I'm really happy with it. And this is the first of many jigs that I will be building for this mini router table. This mini router table has proven to be fantastic so far in terms of portability and functionality and it makes use of all the great features I have built into my compact router. So I'm really happy with its performance and so I'm hoping that I get the same feeling when I finish building my box joint jig for this. So with that, let's get to it. Here's my mini router table without the fence on it. I've got a one quarter inch down cut spiral bit installed and that is what I'm going to use to cut my box joints. So they'll be quarter inch box joints. So what I want to do is build a back plate that I can guide through the router bit. I'm going to make use of the three quarter inch overhang on either side of my router table. So I'm going to use these plywood off cuts to get started. These are all the parts you need to build this jig. I've got the bottom rails for sliding the jig back and forth. I've got the side pieces that I need for the jig. So now we're going to fit this on just like that.
give it a test drive. So I'm using this finger here. I'm using the other half of this finger as a spacer. I'm gonna place that in between the finger to align the starting position for my adjoining piece. I can remove that once I've got it lined up and clamped and I'm ready to go. This is a scrap piece of board, so it has some holes in it. No big deal. But that's my starting point. Now I'm ready to carry on, as usual. It's not bad. Overall, I'm quite happy with it. A little tip, if it gets snug like that, you can take a file and just give it a little Do it on both sides. The best test is using cedar board because this stuff is pretty unforgiving. If the joint is too tight or doesn't fit properly, this whole thing's just going to fall apart or it's gonna split, or it's gonna crack. So far, even with a little tapping with the mallet, it can withstand quite a bit. And we get a really nice fitting box joint. Well, this box joint turned out really well. I'm quite impressed with uh, the overall performance of the jig. They're about a 32nd of an inch proud, or in other words, a couple millimeters above the surface, which is the way I like my box joints. And that's actually really good for this rough cut cedar that I'm using as a test. Again, as I've explained, cedar cracks and splits very easily. So if there were any problems with the fit, that would 
manifest itself very quickly. If it's done this good a job on a rough piece of lumber, it's gonna do a great job going forward when I'm building boxes. This is what I'm calling more than a box joint jig. This is more like a box joint sled that works with this mini router table. And in the plans, I'll probably refer to it as the box joint sled. The action of it really behaves like a sled. And overall, it's a nice fit. It's not too tight. As I mentioned, I wanted a little wider than a quarter inch. So there's a bit of a play I can actually build these in a couple of different sizes uh, because these were so easy to build and I really only use two sizes. I either do my box joints at a half inch or I do them at a quarter inch like this. With a few bits of three quarter inch plywood, this has turned out to be a really nice solid jig. Make your spacer piece identical to the finger in the jig. That will help you get your second starting position. Make sure you attach it to the jig somehow so you don't lose this because then you're going to have to go back and try and replicate this spacer width. I put a piece of painter's tape on here and I stick it to the jig when I store it. I'm trying to upload plans weekly, if not every other week, so please check back on my website often. There'll be more jig plans coming in between filming and trying to get the plans prepared. Uh, I've been a pretty busy guy lately. If you want to support this channel, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.